Oh, that's so much better. Much better. Now, if you wanted to make, if you wanted to make these the same, I'll be honest with you, it'd be a, it'd be a lot of trouble. It actually would. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pass on this one. Gonna take a pass. So I have created something very similar to what I did in that video. Uh, star with the Bezier Bezier tool made it a, a four mil width, and we have two. In this case, we have two corners that are flat and three sharp corners. Now I want to show you if you play around with this a little bit and move some things around you you see now I've got only one flat edge and and there's so I, right now I don't have any flat edges but I'm gonna put the flat edge back because that's what this video is for so we're gonna do something like that and we're gonna convert this as uh, we're gonna convert this line to satin. And oh, you know what? There it is. I, it's cool. It turned out exactly like the other one, including this one up here is okay, but I still need to pull these down. Hit Z for undo. Grab the whole bar and pull that down. Grab the whole bar. Pull that down. I'm going to pull these down a little bit further than what they are to more closely resemble what I've did with that one. What I've did, what I did, what I have done with that one. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a preview. So this should turn out exactly like where I said I'm going to pass. Oh, I must have. I've only got one clicked. Okay, go the whole thing. Extension zinc stitch. Uh, preview. Okay. So this should ex this should look exactly like where I said I'm going to take a pass. Scoot ahead. Yep. Yep. All right. So we're gonna fix these not corn not pointed edges and what we need to do is we need to figure out I'm going to take that okay we're moving that one so it's part of that path okay that one's good we're going to go with the second one we're going to take oh okay that's what the deal is Okay, so if I take that one away, I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to go into our nodes tool. We're going to drag this one out long. This one short. Click on this one. We're going to make this one short. And that one long. I'm going to hover over both of those. I've selected both paths over here so that I have node control for both of those. I'm going to select both of those nodes by just dragging over the top and I'm going to join them. So now they're one node. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And we're going to drag that over and Make that one node as well. So now I'm going to click the Bezier tool and I'm going to go into this path, starting with that one. Hold the control button. If you click that node, it will pick up from that node and create additional parts of that node. So I'm going to extend it out a little bit. Somewhere in that neighborhood, I'm holding control to make sure that it's um, straight. And then that's an outside one, so I want to link to this outside one. 
So that's now one piece. Click our nodes tool again. I'm going to back this off a little bit. We need to back this one off a little bit. Go back to the Bezier tool and click that node and that node. And now we have a complete made piece. Now I can adjust these, make them resemble, you know, a little bit more um, symmetrical. That's the word I'm looking for. So now they're more symmetrical. And I'm going to then, I'm going to, the, okay, I need to make some, some of those things. I need to make some rungs for what I just did. So somewhere about in the middle, I'm going to make a rung. In the middle, make a rung. Somewhere in the middle, make a rung. Undo, make a rung. I'm going to move. They're not separate. I'm actually going to break apart those two paths. And then we're going to move. Try again. That one. Move that down to. Actually, I already have one there, don't I? Actually, I can just delete those two. And then one in the middle, one in the middle, one in the middle. Do I want to delete those? Delete, delete, make a new one so that I have just one rung in each of the middles. Theoretically, that'll work. But we have to go path combined because we mangled it all up. Extensions, ink stitch, params. Satin column, custom satin column. Let's see what happens. It doesn't like something. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, so now I have a a pointy object. Pointy star. And Yeah, that's it. That is now a pointy star. So I'm going to delete that whole thing. We're going to do it again. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to make a bigger one. A bigger one might do pointy on its own. Let's make this one 5 mil. Excellent. Excellent. Outstanding. Extensions, ink stitch, satin tools, convert line to satin. Boom. Now, this time I'm going to fix it without deleting one and creating lines. We're going to, the little bit I did at the first of that one, we're going to do that to the whole thing. Grab your Bezier tool and bring this one down. Bring this one up. This one over. This one over here. Zoom in so I can see a little bit better here. And then grab it. Go to this objects and layers so I can see a little better what's going on. And we're going to combine those two. Combine those two. There's one, two left, down here, do the same thing, those two inside, yeah, I'm going to have to fix this one afterwards, do it again, do that again, and zoom out. A little bit, just enough to come over here and do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. 
Where's my heavy metal music? It says, do it again, do it again. All right. Excellent. Outstanding. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's taking too long. Okay, a rung intersects a rail more than once. Which would be... Oh, you know what? I tied all the rails together. That makes sense. So, what that means is, this rung intersects this outer rail and this outer rail. So, again, I'm going to go ahead and move it down here instead of up here. I'm going to leave this one up here so you can see what it looks like when it makes that sharp turn without much notice. And I think that might be it. Where's this one? Okay, that one might be there. So now we should be okay. See what happens. Ink stitch. Nope, I'm still not happy about something. Object has too few subpaths. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and join them together. Combine extensions, ink stitch, params. I'm going to remind it now that it's a satin column. And there we go. Beautiful. Now, statue, actually, where I left that one up here, it turned out pretty good, too. Hmm. Nice. So, it might actually be better for these to be up here, in this case. And we're going to make some more. That and that. There and there and there and there. All righty, outstanding. Let's. Uh, we got it. We're gonna have to do another combine. Now we go into extensions, ink stitch, params, and satin column. Sweet. That, that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, so another thing that we can do. Notice. Zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. Okay, this, where some of these stitches are stopping shorter than the other stitches. That is this short stitch inset. And... When they start crossing over each other is when it starts doing that inset. And you can make that further further away from the edge just by increasing that number. Okay, so now you can see there's actually a little bit more separation. It It's further away from that far edge than it was, so... That's what that number is. It's a handy number. Love that number. Thank you, Devs, for adding that. But there you go. I have redeemed myself. And, uh, you know, if you like what I do here, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Always, always thanks for watching. I'm creeping up on the 4K or 4,000 subscribers. And I'm just... I'm... I'm I'm excited. This is, I honestly never thought I'd get to that point. And I thank every one of you that subscribed and, and, and every one of you that will subscribe. Thank you very much.
This one's done. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.